Hi, this is Oliver from Lenses.com and this is the second part of the UBS and Textures tutorial. So in this part we are going to take this uh, character, this low poly character, and we are going to take a part of it, the helmet, and unwrap it so you can see how to uh, unwrap a more complex object, not just a basic pyramid. Okay, so let's get started. Well, before we start with the tutorial, I like to talk about this character and, well, I'm quite in love with it because it was actually the first character that I made completely using Blender. It was uh, the version 2.46 back then and a few years have passed and, well, uh, this was a, a character based on the World of Warcraft universe was a low poly character as you can see <laughs> and it was for a competition at uh, gameartisans.org so well after remembering the good old times <laughs> let's get started with the tutorial so in the first part uh, we saw how to apply a texture to the UB so we can see uh, the, that texture on the viewport for having some feedback about how we uh, are making the UVs if they work or if they don't. So I'm going to repeat it because I want it to, to, to be clear because it can be quite confusing that we can use uh, two different textures for the for the same model. Okay, We can use uh, a texture for the UVs but just for internal use and not a render time. For render time we can uh, we have to uh, apply a texture on the material. Okay, so uh, let's go for it. Let's divide the screen to create a, a UV. Well, sorry, I'm at full screen. Uh, let's create a UV window. So UV image editor, and this character already has uh, UVs, as you can see here. They are uh, distributed through the, the the UBs window, and well, I, I have a texture for this character that I'm going to apply uh, right now, so you can see how this unwrapping works. All right. Uh, note that I didn't paint the texture and then make the unwrapping over that texture. Just the opposite. I made the unwrap and then exporting this ungrab to uh, Photoshop or GIMP or the, the, the software, the 2D painting software that you want uh, I made the, the the texture over these lines, these guides and then I applied it to the to the character. So let's go to load it. Uh, for applying a texture to the to the UVs as I said on the first tutorial, but I, I like to repeat it because it's quite important. Uh, you need to select them, okay? I'm just right now, I don't know exactly if they have to be uh, selected on the UV window, but just uh, on, the th on the 3D view, they need to be selected. Alright, so let's go here and click Image, Open and I have this image here. Okay, open and here we have. So as you can see we have a, a texture that is snapped to the UVs. Okay, so they the texture is projected over the character. Now in the viewport we are not seeing any texture. This is because we don't have it uh, configured. So let's go here to display and it's on GLSL. This is for showing us the materials with the lighting and all that stuff on the textured uh, mode. But we are going to remain with the solid mode and select here multi texture or texture face. Uh, I'm going to select multi texture in this case. Uh, these two modes will show us uh, the textures that are applied to the UVs all right? and GLSL will show us the textures that are applied on the material so activate texture solid so we can see the textures on the solid mode and not on the texture one 
and here we go. So you can see now the model is uh, shaded. Okay, here you have the textures uh, applied over the character, and it's not probably the best way of uh, seeing how the textures are working on the character. Maybe we need to go here and see it textured. Okay, in texture mode, when we have uh, the multi texture or texture phase uh, shading, mm, it will be shadeless. Okay, the model will be shadeless, so the the lights on the scene and all that stuff won't uh, affect the character. So we can see the the diffuse and only the diffuse. Well, so having this uh, applied here, we're going to see how to ungrab the helmet of this character. So let's select the, the helmet. Okay, when you are in edit mode, you can select uh, groups of, of of polygons by pressing L. Okay, and now Control I to invert the selection, and I'm going to delete it. Bye. Right, so now we just have this helmet here. Let's go and position it over the ground so it's bigger alright so now we have this uh, with the UVs and the texture applied but I'm going to reset the UVs okay so press U reset and now each face is taking the entire texture right so we need to fix this but for now we're going to forget about this texture we're going to create a new one select all the faces, create a new one here, call it UB test well 1024 will be enough in resolution and we need to activate here UB test grid right so press OK and now we have this texture which is just agreed so we can test how the ungrab is working here okay uh, we can try uh, we can see the distortion of the squares and all that stuff so it's quite handy for making the UVs so let's save this well a little trick here for saving a, a file is that if you press Control shift and s you will uh, get the screen of save as right here if you click you press in the numpad uh, plus or minus you will increase or decrease the number version of the file this is quite handy all right now let's make this bigger let's hide this panel here and well let's see how to make ungrappings here Let's select, for example, these faces. Okay. And let's press U and grab. So we get this here. Uh, well, at this point, you can see that uh, seeing the grid with, uh, with these lines can be quite confusing. We can make something for, for correct this. You can press N here on the UV editor and we get some options for taking a look at the at the UV so for example here we can uh, change how the lines are shown smooth modified and this this option here is quite useful because it shows us the distortion of the of the um, of the UVs right so if we distort this a lot here you can see the distortion of the, the UVs okay. as I move the vertex on the UVs and here the green color is showing us that this part of the face is quite distorted so it should be something like this okay or we can we can change the, the type of distortion into uh, area or angle well for now we are going to let it be like this 
but it's more uh, comfortable for me to uh, see this view so I'm going to hide the, the grid okay so let's go here and show this way press N to hide that panel and this way we can see the UVs perfectly and now let's take this another group press U ungrab and we get this ungrab but now we want to select all this so we can see the two groups but they are uh, on different islands okay here in the UVs uh, the groups of polygons are called islands so select this you can with control tab as in the edit mode you can uh, switch between borders edges and faces or island uh, modes so let's press vertices press B box selection and move it right here now uh, for taking a look in which vertices uh, correspond with each one we can uh, turn on this feature here so we can see for example this vertex let me try to vertex mode these vertices are the same because if we select one of them the other one is selected the same with these two and the same with these two. So we can align these vertices because they are uh, they uh, share the same position on the real model. Okay, so let's see how we can uh, join them. We have these two groups, and well, this is not uh, useful. Okay, it's just. Uh, for explaining you how uh, this method works because normally you will uh, select the entire faces and press U okay for unwrapping in the same group okay and not making it on groups and then welding the vertices but well uh, sometimes you you will need the, to use this method so let's see how to how to do it select all them and now let's uh, change the snapping to vertices we can uh, turn it on with this and the vertices will align automatically but I find more comfortable to turn it off move them around and when I am uh, with the vertices uh, close to the one that I want to weld the, the, the selected weld vertices I press control so the snapping is taking effect right now okay there we go there we go there we go and there we go now we see that the texture is continuing from one group to the other because right now they have become the same island as you can see these vertices now if we select uh, just one of them and I move them around they are welded they are not two vertices anymore they are just one. Uh, this is because Blender automatically welds vertices uh, on the UVs that are sharing the same position on the real model. But if we try to uh, position a vertex, a vertex that is not sharing its position with uh, uh, another vertex on the real model, say this here, now we are getting two vertices. They are not welded. Okay, so we can just weld vertices that uh, share the same position on the real model. So we have this area here and as you can see this is uh, not very effective. Okay, I get a lot of distortion because I'm doing it manually. Okay, but well it can be an option and sometimes you will need to uh, make an unwrap uh, in parts Okay, because it's a quite complex character or whatever. So, okay, something like this. And well, now uh, we're going to take a look at more advanced uh, features. Well, uh, another thing that you may you might uh, 
know is that and grab okay we have now these two islands here and for selecting island on the UBE editor you can press L okay to move that island and as we move it you can see on the on this um, portion here you can see the the changes on the texture okay all right now selecting more than one island you can press shift and L and shift and L again to deselect it so this is quite useful let's select a big area right now because I want to show you a very cool uh, feature so let's press and grab we have this area This is actually inverted. For inverting it, we can go here to the UBs and say mirror x axis or just control M as in the edit mode. Okay, control M. Well, why is not working? Well, I don't know why it's not working. But well, the shortcut should be Control M and then press X and Enter. But well, it doesn't work, so I'm going to do it from here. X axis. So we have now a, uh, the right position. All right. So having this, we can now make a live and grab, which is a very cool feature. We need to activate this and now we will select the vertices, the important vertices okay for saying that. I'm going to select just three vertices right now which uh, will be the corners of the ungrab and press P or go here on newbies and press pin. So these vertices now are pinned. If we move them you can see that we are getting uh, an automatic uh, ungrab live. Okay, the ungrapping is animating to uh, fit our movements on the model. Okay, if we need to move this uh, vertex here, we can pin it and move this this way. This one, pin it with P and move it here. Pin these two vertices and move them. Right. The rest of the vertices that are not pinned will not affect the life and grab. Okay, just uh, those ones that are pinned. This is a very interesting feature because it allows us to make an ungrab while moving the vertices on the UVs. can make something like this. If you want to unpin uh, a vertex, you just need to press Alt P. Or just go into the UBs menu and press Unpin. So now we have the ungrapping done. Let's press everything, press Alt P, and we already have it. Now, uh, another thing that I want to, uh, to tell you is that if you have a symmetrical object, uh, it's a good practice to, to make just one part with a mirror modifier so you are working on the model in just uh, one of the sides then you ungrab that side and then you apply the, the mirror modifier so you get the same exact uh, UBs on, the, on both sides okay because right now we need to make uh, the two sides uh, separately so well maybe there is a, a method for making for mirroring UVs but uh, sorry but I don't know it so let's select everything right now because uh, I'm bored of working in just a few polygons here so ungrab everything and we get 
these scrappy UBs. Right? Here you have them. Okay, there are overlapping uh, polygons, there are uh, very, very distorted areas. So we need to make, uh, make it uh, in a different way. How to do it? Using sims, which is a very important feature for making ungraphs in Blender. So a sim is an edge that works as a separation for the UVs. So let's see, for example, the difference between this and now with the sims. So let's position this a bit. And let's see how this works with the sim right here, for example. Okay, so here, but I'm going to let it be until here. So press Ctrl E, mark sim. Now we can see that edges on red, that indicates us that uh, that edges are sims. So they will act as uh, separators for the UVs when we press and grab. So, take a look at this image and see how it changes right now. Okay, this is because uh, before it was making something like this. Okay, it was something like this, but now as we have seams on on these edges, they are separated and they are expanded on the UVs. So this way you can see the UVs are more, much more accurate. As you can see that we have uh, little distortions, but we have a seam here. Well, it's not a problem because uh, this tester will be symmetrical because it's a low poly character and we uh, can allow, uh, allow us to uh, make very high definition textures. So we are going to take the same tester for one side than to the other. All right. Uh, now in the horns we are getting uh, yet a lot of distortion, okay, because they have no seams, so they are in a very very little area. Okay, these are the horns. Okay, because Blender doesn't know that uh, here is a seam, it takes it uh, as a uh, model inside the, the rest of the helmet and it makes it very very small. So what we need to do is just to find this edge, okay, select it, make the same with the other side, press Ctrl E, mark seam. And let's see what happens now. Well, I think I had an error here or something. Let me see. Oh, okay, I have pin vertices. Alt P. Okay. And ungrab again. Well, this is better, but not so much actually. I have some problems with the horns and I don't know why. <clears throat> they should look the same, both of them. Okay, this one has some error here because it's... Let's take a look. Well, it look, looks right. Well, let's start again. Press Ctrl E, clear seam, so we have no seams right now. Let's uh, reset the UVs, press it, and now let's make it again. So here with Alt, right click, Alt, right click, we are letting this for now. And now select these horns.
Well, this should work. Control E, mark seam, A, U, N, and grab. Well, this is awesome. <laughs> well, let's try again. So you can see this uh, this horn this horn here is working pretty okay. But this one has something strange right here, and I think well this looks like uh, well I don't know maybe it can be because this is a very old model and the version the the new version is not taking it all right or something let's press A and W remove doubles and ungrab again no it doesn't work well in this case let's make something that I wanted to make later select just this part and delete it okay so we are going to work on the side of the helmet and apply a modifier which is uh, Uh, let me see subdivision surface well no <laughs> I'm getting crazy uh, mirror alright let's add a bit clipping and now let's make the entire unwrap and I don't know why is this isn't working well, let's make the rest of the grab here because we don't need the the horn to be this way. We need it to be completely opened so we can texture it uh, in a comfortable way. So press Ctrl E, mark seam, and well, we don't need to ungrab the entire model. We can just go here, select this area and press U sorry I think it's E here and grab and now we get it on the right way as you can see there is a lot less of distortion and the other side of the helmet is already uh, made with the same exact UVs so right now that I have this uh, UBs done I can take it getting out of here take this horn and select again the image activate the, the background which is here and now we can take this you can see how it reacts to the, the, to the texture movement and let's position it on the helmet normally you will, uh, as I said, you will do the UVs and then paint the textures over them but well, in this case we're going to do it this way uh, mirror x-axis and position it something like this and we should need a, a bit of arrangement here okay we can arrange arrange this uh, vertices you can see how they affect the the model on the viewport This should be here, I think.
So this here. Well, I think you get an idea on how this works. This here, this here. And all right. This here. And you can see that the helmet is already textured. Here we have an error. Let's fix it. It's just here. No, it's the next one right here. Because we need to, to put them as it is uh, symmetrical. Like this, for example. Okay, now it's it's okay. Now the horns. Okay, so let's select the the horn, which is down here, and uh, move it to where it is. This is the the horns texture. Well, or or this one. So we need to uh, control M. UBs mirror X scale it on the on the X axis and let's use the the life ungrab like this. Oh it's inverting it. I don't know what this happened but well Maybe we need to use it right here. Let's go to UBs, mirror, X axis, move them all, and snap them here. Okay, okay, perfect. So here you have it. Oh! Not good. All right. Let's um, okay. Here we have this. Now just select these faces. Well, we can do it this way. Select that verse and control plus 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 and plus. And we have all the faces of the of the helmet selected. Okay, so let's go to face and let's uh UB's mirror X axis. Now we can Change it here. Okay. So here we have the horns and the entire helmet. Okay, now uh, another. Uh, Last thing is that uh, you need to to keep in mind that you need to have uh, all the objects, uh, all all the faces of the object selected for some th things because if you have just this face selected and you move it without having the rest of them selected, let's try for example uh, with this with this. Okay, so here if you move these vertices, the 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 same vertex on the rest of the faces will move with it. But if you just select this face, if you move this vertex, the rest of them won't move. As you can see here. Okay, it should be like this. Okay, so uh, this is a way, a good way for isolating uh, vertices and faces. 
Hey, but well, just for you to know it, because it's quite important, and sometimes you will have problems if you don't know it. And well, I think this is everything for this tutorial. And in the next one, we are going to see how to apply a real texture, because at this time. We have no camera on the scene, but if we make a render, this object won't have any texture. Okay, so, so well, see you on the next tutorial, and happy blending!